<laughs> All right, so we're on the streets of Florence. A little bit of a pickle with checking in because the keys or the uh, the card didn't work or whatever. My cards are being weird, my credit cards. So luckily the lady was very nice and she's allowing us a day just until we can get it sorted out. But on our way to dinner, she recommended a couple places for us and, and some gelato places that we will be trying. So we're on our way to the, the center square to try that. And yeah, we'll get a food after food review just because I never have time to to record before I eat I'm too hungry to even pull out the camera so So we uh, just finished dinner, it's pretty decent. I got a spaghetti carbonara and she got a, what'd you get? Lasagna yeah. and a glass of wine. Yeah, so I mean, I ordered a Costello pint, never came. I'm not gonna complain about it because I do have a little headache, but I thought the pint would help with that. So beer. yeah, beer helps. This is the Duomo behind us. We're just walking to this gelato place called Perkeno. And the, the lady at our hotel, she, she requested it, or she suggested it. And you always gotta take advice of the locals. So we're going there now. It's a little bit of a walk, but we'll hope it's worth it. There's people just hanging out over here too. So yeah, we'll, I'll get a video of the gelato this time, because this place, it's got high reviews, so we'll see, put it to the test. So we're outside the Duomo. This is just crazy architecture. I was gonna walk around too. This is a very historic part of Ven or uh, not of Venice, of Florence. <laughs> I'm getting confused, but just the sheer architecture of this is unbelievable. to look at. I could look at it for hours. Like people built this. It's just shocking. Painted it. Painted it, sculpted it. It's beautiful. Wow. Oh. We found it. Best gelato. Hazelnut, uh, yeah. Milk. Hazelnut, yeah. Hazelnut and chocolate cake. Hazelnut tastes like hazelnut. How about that? Wow. That's straight lavender. Literally. 
You're not gonna like hazelnut. Yeah, what I say. What's this one? Chocolate cake. I'm happy with my choices. So, it's definitely quality gelato. Gelato. <laughs> I missed the L. But, I agree with her. We're gonna enjoy this off camera. Because this is not. This is not a mukbang. We're almost back to the uh, the casa, the hotel, crib. the crib, and uh, it's a good night, good first little evening here in Florence. Tomorrow we'll have a full day, so might meet up with my friend who's here. No, we didn't talk about that. I did. I explained it. Uh, and yeah, got to figure out the payment for this place because it still didn't work, but. You know, the lady's nice. So once we figure that out, that'd be good. And then, yeah, gonna crash for tonight. I'm very tired and uh, pick up tomorrow. Ciao. We're off to a little bit of a late start. We needed some rest and uh, just is drizzling out here. Perfect, but it's supposed to pass. So I'm not too annoyed by it and about to go get some some coffee, maybe a croissant, who knows. But we have a little bit of a walk until we get there, so. Got out of the Dior store after about 45 minutes in there, because I was browsing some bags that I probably won't purchase, but I might, I might. Now we're at the river. And the famous bridge here. The river's pretty dirty though, I'm not gonna lie. But really cool architecture here. Okay, so we made it to the other side of the bridge and we're going to the Rose Garden. <laughs> weather looks like it's permitting, kind of. Let's see. We'll see when we get there. So we made it to the Rose Garden. A little bit of a walk uphill. It's pretty cool in here. Good views from up here though. Finally at the top. It's pretty much taken. Alright, so we're about to go to a sandwich shop. It's pretty famous. I'm not gonna spoil the name yet until I get a food review in. And uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a walk, but this is a really good little excursion. Piazza Michelangelo. I liked it up here. 
Here's a little restaurant too. Looks like we just walked into by accident. What's that over there? Look. You see that green like hill? With those yeah. arches? It's a green hill. That's what it is. Arches, there's statues at the top. You see that? Mm. That looks cool. Sandwich acquired. Al Antico Veneo. The Fabuloso. And what'd you get? Uh, summer. The summer. All right. Oh, we're gonna have to get a review in here. Oh, here we go. Here, get over here. Let's see what it's all about. Big close up on that. Nutty. Yup. Yup. Unreal. Wow. Get a close up on that. Yeah. That's valid. <laughs> All right, here you go. I have to try it now. See it? I'm going to give that. Mm. I got to wait for the wait. Wait for the rating here. All right, let's see. Okay, keep in mind I don't like tomatoes and I don't know what meat this is. Mystery meat. So, how do you like it? Um, all I really got was meat. Alright, another bite, another bite. I'm not gonna get to another I'm stuff. diving in mine here. Give us a rating. You like it? I don't know. I haven't gotten to anything yet but meat. Mm. Alright, well. Mine's a, mine's a nine flat. That's fire. The That's fire. Good. The bread's fire. Um, what, do you see how big this is? Yeah, you were halfway through it almost. I'm not halfway through it. Alright. Rate it. The workers are right here. I'm gonna snitch. <laughs> yeah, time for some more gelato. That's it. Uh, I'm not waiting to dive into this. Yeah, that's some of the better gelato I've had. Definitely. I'm gonna enjoy this off camera. We uh, we got some apple splits and uh, it's refreshing. I'll tell you that. It's pretty good. It's not the best I've had. Still good. Still very good. We are gonna try to hit the wine window though. Not yet. We're gonna try to hit the wine window. It opens at 6.30 so we have a little bit of time. We'll enjoy these, walk around a little bit, and then yeah, get to it. Ciao. There's just so many people. They get through. There she is. Almost through. All right, we got through. That's pretty cool. I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you.
don't know what these guys are doing. They just came out of nowhere. All dressed up. There's a lot of them too. They're riding horses and squoozies. And yeah, they're just, just patrolling, I guess. I don't know. There's, there's a huge line of them though. Archers. All right, so we're outside this, uh, this palace. It's huge. And we're just going to get some information, see what's, what's going on in here. Maybe go in, maybe not. We'll see. And we were the last ones in. The guy like closed the, the gate as we like were walking up to it. And I was like, we just got tickets. He's like, he's like, so we're about to go in, see some gardens. Yeah, here's the entrance. And we're in this like stadium, it looks like. Like these are all seats. It's a really cool statue too. Wow, look at the turtles are turtles under it. It's cool. Better walk up. Let's see. I'm already really sweaty though. So this hill isn't gonna help my case. This place just looks like Percy Jackson. It's giving me big Percy Jackson vibes. I don't know why, like some, like we got to find the lightning bolt or something, you know, I don't know, it's a lot of hills though. It's pretty cool and there's, it's huge, so. We only decided to go left, and there's like right, straight, up, down, diagonal, there's everywhere. We're going to explore all of it though, don't you worry. almost fell. So behind me is the start of the palace and the view is just like perfect. It's so symmetrical and it just looks sick. Wow, this shocked me. I did not think this was here. And the views are just, oh my gosh, I'm gonna switch to 5K for yeah, this. Nice.
Fresh oranges right here. There's more over here. Maybe we try one of these out. Oh, never mind. They're all kind of behind this gate. Sadly. I don't know if you can see this, but that's a black squirrel. Dark brown. Dark brown. Oh, now he moved. There's two of There he goes. I'm faster. <laughs> yeah, so we're on the other side though of the garden. It just keeps going and these trees are really cool too. We're gonna go to the like, fountain. Just imagine the palace. Like, there's still a whole palace. Look at this little hole. Who knows? Never know. Alright, so we have to leave now. Garden's closing, but we made it to the end right here. pretty cool it is raining again of course but it's not even that bad it's like a little mist <laughs> clearly the wine window we'll see if we can get any wine window is closed so we're going back it's still raining it seems to be coming down a little harder now I'm soaked so to get out of this is gonna feel good and just sit down we've been walking all day we're about like 10 miles deep so all right and we're back on our way to dinner um, not sure where we're gonna go yet but I do want to meet up with my uh, one of my coaches for college and ex-teammate. He is in here. He's in Florence right now, so we'll uh, we'll try to meet up with him. So yeah. All right. So we're back to the the hotel and met up with Nick. It's good seeing him. Weird coincidence that we were both here and he's doing like the same. Same tour that we're doing, but like we booked our own and he has like a program, but like same cities, same destinations. It's just coincidence, but going to Cinque Terre tomorrow and it's already pretty late. So we got to get some sleep and see you in the morning, I guess. Ciao.